Good evening, friendos. It's time for Quest for Semi-Glory. We're back to Outer Wilds tonight. Week two of finding out why the sun is exploding. And also why we're in a time loop. Apparently, we figured out that there are probably two other folks in time loops with us here. One of them was uh, Gabro, I think, on the, on the water planet. Giant's Deep or whatever. Let's see, he looked at the statue or something. That's what we've kind of determined. And then there was a third one that was lit up as well. There was a third statue when we did the weird, like, remote viewing thing. Um, we haven't figured out the third person yet. Um, if that theory is actually accurate, in fact. Um, well, let's see. Let's see what we got. Um, okay. I would like to check some stuff here before we go and depart. Uh, okay, we know how the harmonica is on, uh, um, is here on Timber Hearth somewhere. We don't know where. We tried to look once, but we didn't find it. Hey, Game Over, how you doing? Good to see ya. Uh, Southern Observatory. We have something. Oh, right. Yeah, Brittle Hollow. Okay, we gotta get to the Southern Observatory at some point. Um, we gotta get to the center of the Ash Twin at some point. Um, right, go back to the White Hole Station at some point, in North, Northern Glacier, what? Oh, Brittle Hollow, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, okay, there's more to find there, and there's a whole bunch of other stuff in places we haven't even been. Uh, plus we could go back to, yeah, I guess it's, uh, Ember Twin. It's got some of this other stuff, too, so. Okay, let's go. Let's just launch into space, and, uh and go to a place. There, as long as we get clear. Uh, Brittle Hollow, Developer, Armadus Twins, Giant Steep is where we were last time. Let's go to Dark Bramble. Like, we haven't gone to Dark Bramble. That's right, I need to reset my controls on this every time. I don't know why. Uh, but it, boop, 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 boop. Boop, 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 boop. There we go. There we go. Okay. Uh, engage autopilot. I have... N okay, it's behind us. <laughs> uh, and up, I guess? There it is. Oh, hopefully we don't get ricocheted into the sun here. Okay, now we should be alright. Ooh, we did pass awful close there. Made me a little concerned. Okay. Um, you know what? Let's not even bother slowing down here. Oh, uh. <laughs> uh, 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 um. Oh, we're coming in hot. Oh! Okay. No, we're fine. <laughs> uh. Ooh, okay. Uh, we managed to go into the core, it looks like. Oh, oh, that thing looks mean. Back up. Ah, uh, ah, uh, fire phasers. Oh, we don't have any phasers. Ah! Oh, no. Um. We should, uh, try to get away. Ouch. Try to get away from this fucker. Ah, uh, okay, he's caught. He's caught. He's caught. He's caught. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, boy. That was... That was troublesome. Alright. I think we're good. He's caught on that, perhaps permanently. Whoo! Okay. Let's, uh, let's go out and do some repairs. <laughs> some repairs that we're so good at. Um, uh, uh, alright. Uh, alright. Oh. Almost everything was, uh, oh, oxygen tank is just completely blown. <laughs> Alright, come on, close enough for repair. There we go. Alright, it's fine. That's fine. Fuel tanks are fine. Uh, I know it's the headlight. The headlight was doing a little spark do as well. Um, there it is. Oh, boy. Okay, come on. 
Okay, I think there's at least one other thing that's busted. Um, okay, good, he's still caught on the thing. <laughs> it's like, ah. Uh -huh. All right, is there anything else busted? No, we got it all. Okay, okay, good. Uh, wh wh what, 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 I don't know what to do. <laughs> I, I feel like I uh, don't want to go out there. Because that thing's being scary, but I think I'm kind of stuck in here, so, uh, well. Oh, boy. Okay, well, let's... Let's have a look around without really going anywhere. Okay. Just be careful. Just be careful. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Let's kind of keep that thing in between us here. Hmm. Oh, right. Headlights off. Actually, maybe if we turn our headlights off, you won't be able to track us. Okay, this is fine. Um, I feel like perhaps being on the inside of this dark bramble is not a good idea. Oh, we've got a got beat on something here. There. That's right, because the other, um, the other distress pod was, oh, excuse me, uh, the other distress pod was kind of lodged in the dark bramble, wasn't it? Let's see. Nice and careful. I hear him. I sort of hear him. Okay, it's like over there. Okay, it's on the inside here. You know what? Let's put it down nice and easy in here. Okay. Sit down. I, I guess we're sort of set down. I mean, probably as good as we're going to get in a place like this. Let's just kind of do that. Okay. So we'll have to go out. Do a little spacewalk. Okay, uh let's find where this was now. It's all the way over here. Uh Okay, well, maybe we shouldn't <laughs> go go too far from our ship, then. It must have floated way past it. Alright, let's get back in there. Fine. I think we we kind of lucked out by nearly slamming our faces into into the planet. But boy, is this concerning. Nice and easy. track of it. Where'd it go? Oh. Over there. There it is. I think. Okay. As long as we learn one thing. One thing before shit explodes or I get eaten by giant space anglerfish or whatever. Okay, right here is fine. Okay. Okay, 
escape pod three. Good. Eh? Okay, can we can translate the damn thing? Oh, RB. <laughs> If I crash, we try to flee, throwing our movement and communication. Held as long as we could, the pod supply breathable air is nearly depleted, and the English flesh attack more and more frequently. Uh, best chance to survive is to return to the vessel to either repair the damage or probably await rescue. Uh, vessel's beacon's already growing faint, it'll be gone in a matter of hours. We need to leave here. Oh, okay. Well, it seems pretty unlikely that I'm going to find it then myself. Oops. LB to roll. <clears throat> okay, escape pod three vessel has been mortally injured. Yada yada yada. We knew that. Uh, wait, what was that? Multiple collisions. Great. Life support error, propulsion error. Oh, good. That's fun. Okay. No problem. Our equipment is dis detecting two distinct beacons. Possible for the vessel to be in two different locations at the same time. Uh, it's beacon exactly identical to each other. Perhaps if I had more time. Uh, we're nearly out of time already. The vessel beacon is quickly fading, so it'll be gone and we'll be lost. Follow the beacon whose source is nearest to us. Don't suppose that beacon is. But suppose that beacon is false. Blah blah blah. Don't have enough air to reach the farther of the two beacons. The decision is made for us. Yeah, it's a practical way to look at it, right? Uh, leave a trail of lights as we go. There's still a chance someone could hear our escape pod's distress signal. Yes. In fact, that is what I did. Oh, oh, shit. Uh, well, <laughs> I wanted to read whatever squiggle was up there, but uh, I guess we're kind of out of it. Um, all right. Well, let's do a quick top off at the ship and then we'll follow them lights. Or we could just use the ship to follow them lights. Seems the the better cost the course of action here. Okay. Alright. Uh so it's pretty much Where were the, where were those lights? It's like as I was exiting the ship, right? Kind of blew out the the door. track of where it was. It kind of blew out the door. I think I was like on the lower bit. Oops. Oh, there we go. Okay. Kind of on the lower bit of the ship. Here we go. Now we're talking. Uh, all right. Excuse me. All of the lights as best we can here. Oh, okay. Found something. I don't know what that is, but it's something. Oh, coming in hot. Alright, easy. This doesn't look good. It's all spiky. And a bunch of, uh, oh, a bunch of Nomai in their spacesuits just kind of hanging out here. That's not a good sign. Okay. <laughs> Let's go check it out. Searching for us, he followed one of the two beacons from the vessel this place, but now can go no further. Almost too faint to hear now, but the vessel's beacon is still faintly emitting from within this thorny seed. Yet the opening is too small for even a single no mice or escape pod could have couldn't have flown through here. Uh, be possible as Goose and Sunny seems to manipulate space itself. Maybe this is their undoing. So close to the location of the vessel and still so far. Yeesh. Uh, there's nothing we can do now but try to perhaps find a way inside or at least attempt to comprehend why this happened. Yeah, well, I guess that's up to me now, huh? 
Okay. Very grim. Very, very grim. Doesn't look like there's anything. Oh, wait. Maybe one of these. Oh, jeez. Right. Spiky. Don't don't fly in and be spiky. Oh, yeah. A probe. That's a good idea. Um, what is it? Spike bumper? There we go. Uh, plonk. Duplicate signal. Uh, that's interesting. Yeah, that's just kind of flying around, huh? Where did that go? Oh, I see. Now it went all the way to f over there. Aha. Uh -huh. I see. Yeah. That's some good thinking. Alright. Let's make a quick... Make a quick check of the surrounding area here before we go jetting off to that spot. Looks like that might have been the only log entry. Set of log entries around here. Which is fine, I guess. Okay. Uh, Alright. Whew, okay, um, whoop. okay, so that's where we, we jammed it in there, and now it's all the way over there. There's a scary red light over that way, which, uh, makes me a little worried, but I don't have much of a choice, I don't think. Uh, uh, there we go. Just keep our headlight off, because I don't want to attract any attention. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's kind of like a space... Oh, jeez! Oh, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up! Ah! Back up, back up! Ah! Oh. Oh, okay. Um, hmm, <laughs> uh, let's try another entrance. Okay, in, in slow. how a life is taken. <laughs> okay. Looking good. Careful. Okay. Forward. like a thing within a thing here again. Uh, I don't like that. Oh, yeah, I don't like this. <laughs> uh, okay. Alright, easy. Easy your way in. Uh, hmm. Okay, I think they want me to go to the red light. That's the deal. So, uh, that's gonna be a small issue we get accosted by giganto space fish every time. Alright, you know what? We'll try to stick up towards the the top or the bottom or wherever the fuck we happen to be here. Okay, well. Take an entrance. 
sense. Let's take this one, it's closest. Slowly down. There you go. Um okay. That oh I I've lost lost control. Oh okay, I guess I died. <laughs> Oh wait, are we at? Okay, we we're about at the 20 minute mark, so that might have been a, might have been a sun explode. Might have been a sun explode moment there, rather than anything else happening. Hmm. Okay. Well, we we've learned sort of. Let's see if Slate's got anything to say about that. Um. Uh, sun's gonna go supernova, autopilot into sun, time loop. No, this is all the same. Okay. Alright, let's try that again. Hell, even if we could... Do turbo boost into the center of that thing again, that might save us a bit of time. Alright, where are you at? There you are. Um, okay, we're gonna have to. Abort autopilot, because I might be headed into the sun. Ah, I'm into the sun. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Whoops. Maybe we should, uh, check our approach vector before we <laughs> autopilot into the sun again. Ah, oh, well. It's the beautiful thing about being in a time loop. Doesn't matter, no consequences. I mean, sure, there are some consequences, but, you know. Okay, let's kind of aim at the sun but like around it. <laughs> Can at least get a lock on it, right? There we go. There, it's all the way over there. Now we're probably safe to, to go for it. There. Okay. Let's try to check out the outside of this thing first. Maybe there's something else to be gained. Alright, easy, 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 easy. Uh, reverse course. Boy, that oh bonk bonk bonk. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, we took a pretty pretty good hit there. <laughs> alright, alright, I just wanna Okay. Um I guess let's just set down, sort of. <laughs> set down so we can uh do repairs. There, good enough. Oh, that headlight is pretty, uh, pretty not damaged <laughs> somehow. Alright. 
what else is busted besides everything? Uh, the main core hull, I guess. There we go. Oh, the upper hull. Okay. Yeah, I guess it's kind of busted. <laughs> there we go. No problem. Good as new. Like nothing ever happened. Okay, so here we are now. On the outside-ish of Dark Bramble. Okay, let's see what we can see. Okay, I see kind of a light-colored thing over here. Might be just the reflection of light from somewhere else, though. Oh, from my own headlights. Great. Okay, so maybe the interior is really the only point of interest. Because if it's like a space within a space type thing, there doesn't really seem to be a lot of outer surface area to this. Hmm. Apparently there's also a harmonica coming from there. Which seems weird, but all right. Oh, 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 oh. okay, all right, it's fine. Uh, okay, well, in we go. Okay, oh, uh, headlights off. Just in case. I don't know if that actually helped. It's more of a proximity thing than anything else, but it made me feel a little better. Not broadcasting my position to mean chompy boys there. Okay, it's another one of those things. Oh, I bet I could uh, shove the probe through here again like before and then track where it goes. Okay, right there. Just go like right there is fine. Okay. So we can't go through it ourselves, right? That's the whole deal whole gym jam of this area. Oh, that is just... Okay, interesting. So there's the original one, and then it put two additional signals for us to follow. Okay. Alright, well... Uh, let's go to the further one, I guess. Another case of going into space within space. It seems so. Here we go. Oh, now it's kind of duplicated it a second time. Oh, actually, um, let's see where it's at. Oh, I mean, that's the original one, I guess. Uh, who knows if that's where I'm headed. Oh, seems like maybe... Maybe I am. Oh, it's inside one of those things. Uh, Alright. 
Yeah, look at that. It's a little encampment. Okay, this seems like a good spot to just park it. <clears throat> okay. Well, here we are, I guess. And there's Feldspar, I guess, huh? Buddy? Where did I come from? I came from the outside world, sort of. And it's coming here whenever it actually makes you a second, blah, 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 blah. You haven't blown yourself up yet. I mean, well, sort of. <laughs> You're alive! <clears throat> uh, I've been here, not here since the ship, uh, you know, crashed violently. Wait, what? Uh, so I just finished exploring the core of Giant's Deep, need a new challenge, and none of us had ever made it inside Dark Ramble, so I think, hey, yeah, let's, let's go do that. Obvious death trap thing, right? I've uh, cruising around for a while down the old mass interdimensional vine versus the thorns, uh huh? Running this huge anglerfish, the biggest you've ever seen. A few stunts, uh huh, nothing too fancy, and going full speed in the fish cliffs, and actually in the vine, and yeah, okay. Uh, it starts to make a noise that's coming apart, and I think, well, that ain't good. <clears throat> Barely get out of there before the electrical system starts sparking. You either move fast or die unpleasantly. Yeah, okay, that's one way to get motivation, I guess. A little distance between me and my poor fried ship. Camped out, we already crashed first, found the skeleton later. Okay, I'm gonna set up over here and plant my emergency tree seeds, been here ever since. Uh. Wow. <laughs> That's how it all went down. Okay, story's over. Feel free to stay and enjoy the fire. Or don't. The fire's not going anywhere. Um, I found something. Oh, apparently I didn't find anything. Okay. Uh, alright. What else do we got? Uh, where should I explore? Uh, anywhere's good. You should know that space is weird here. I mean, yeah, I know. Um, try to throw your scout in one of those weird seeds. Yep, that's how we got to you. Uh, so here's the little opening. It's big enough to launch. Scott Trek will tell you the scout is in two places at once, but I don't think that's wrong exactly. The space doesn't work right in here. Uh-huh, it's bigger inside, much bigger. We've had a lot of time. Uh, it kind of expands to go you through the sphere. That's why it's bigger inside the seeds. Okay. Um, keep that in mind while you're exploring, and maybe you won't get lost inside forever. Well, until the sun blows up, I guess. Right? Thanks, Feldspar. <clears throat> You reached the core of Giant Steep? How'd you do it? Um, is there actually gonna assume you haven't made it down there? No, we haven't. Um, uh, tell you how. Kind of feels like cheating. Oh, boo! <laughs> A completely unrelated note. The big hollow vine my ship crashed into. Yeah, okay, I get you. Take a walk and see where it ends. Yeah, I'm gonna go to the tail end of the English Ridge and look for a flickering light in the fog. That'll be your old ship. Path starts there. Okay. Excellent. Um, what happened to this one? Uh, it's like that when I got here. Yeah, likely story. <laughs> I mean, I've been chewing on the vine and eating a seed, and then the seed grew and grew. Oh, whoops. <laughs> That's a nasty way to go. Yeah, uh, it's a good vine. Keeps the fish away of the territorial, so they mostly avoid each other. Okay. Um, can I tell ground control to come get you? Yeah, sure, whenever you have the time. Yeah, I kind of like it out here. Quiet, peaceful-ish. Uh, a lot of pressure being the best that ever was. <laughs> yeah, he's very humble, too. Um, okay. Well, shit, while we're here, may as well roast a marshmallow. Careful. very carefully without burning it okay that's pretty pretty good hard to tell in the light sounds good that's enough <laughs> okay interesting is that making the same no I guess the all the gravity bits make the same bit huh Okay, whoa, whoa. Ah, right, the flashy light. That's what he was talking about, right? And that's where our thing landed. Flashy light is where his ship is. Uh, where's my ship? There. Okay. Let me go get my ship. <laughs> Don't want to leave this hanging around. Um, and then 
His ship is kind of the flashy bit over here. Oh, yeah, there it is. wonder if I could, in theory, repair this. Let's give it a try. Never mind. Doesn't want me repairing it. <laughs> Very good. Never mind. Ouch. Spooked me a little bit. Okay. I guess we will keep our distance from it then. And... Kind of go over... Here, I guess. Oh, no. Oh, right. Okay. Uh, where's my thing here? Okay. I don't know where that landed, but we'll, I guess we'll go through and find out. Die one way or another. Okay, that's where it landed. Oh, we just, uh, we make it back? <laughs> we, uh, somehow made it back to Feldspar here. Interesting. <clears throat> yeah, I just, uh, went in a circle, buddy. Uh, okay. Hmm, not exactly what I was looking for, but, uh, let's shove a thing through here. Oh, there it is. <laughs> okay, yep, that definitely just looped around. All right, let's let's try from one other direction. Oh, yeah, there it is. It's traveling towards me. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. Okay. Except I didn't see his ship again. Oh, there it is. Must have floated a bit out of the way. I guess we'll follow this route to wherever it ends. Cause I, I imagine once we get in here, we're not getting out. So we find like a lucky turn somewhere that takes us out of here. Looks like we're probably about to encounter Explodey Sun too very soon here. Oh, this is going to take us out somewhere. Uh, 
Okay. Not sure that's terribly helpful. Oh, right. I wanted to go towards the red. Let me see where that took me. Oh, right. Uh... Ouch. Ah, I see. That pretty much ends it. <laughs> Never mind. I see. So, okay. If we choose to pursue the red light, I think we're, uh... We have to be a little bit more careful. <laughs> hmm. Okay. I mean, now we've met Feldspar, so we might be able to tell somebody about that. Be like, hey, he's he's up here. Not exactly a safe trip to go get him, but... You know, somebody could try. Somebody who's not me could try. Uh, Slate doesn't care. Does anybody else care? Yeah, hey, we don't care about that for now. <sighs> All right. <clears throat> well, let's see. How many uh, other things did that tie up for us? Anything? Well, we found about Escape Pod 3, right? Feldspar's camp, hollow vine, which clearly there's more to know about. I just got into the seat of the Nomai grave and took photos of an enormous, enormous stair like Nomai ship. I did? I guess I did. I guess I did, but then the, then the sun exploded or I went in the wrong direction and then I got chomped or something. So there's more to do there. Okay, let's head back to Dark Bramble. I feel like there's plenty more to do up there. Launched into the sun here? Probably not. Let's just ensure that we're not <laughs> gonna even get close to the sun. There we go, that's better. and easy. Nice and easy. Okay, if we want to attempt to go for the red spot, I imagine there'll be two anglerfish guarding it probably at all times. Oh. Uh. Oh. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, so they, they patrol about, it seems. They patrol about. Uh, which instruments have we seen? Okay, so we, we saw Feldspar. He's got his harmonica, right? Gabbro with his flute, I want to say? At Giant's Deep, right? Um, the dude whistling up at Adelrock up on the moon there. I already forget his name. Uh, and, we, and I think that's it. We haven't... Explored around enough to find more than those three. I imagine there is more, but I haven't found them yet. Okay, let's give uh, Dark Bramble one more go here. If we end up getting chomped one more time here, and we'll set our sights on something else.
maybe Ash Twin again, now that we sort of know what we're doing. Actually, what's that? Oh, it's Timber Hearth. Derp. Uh oh. Uh, uh oh, come on. Slingshot is passed. <laughs> uh. There we go. It's fine. Good. Let's head on in. <clears throat> Carefully. <laughs> oh, careful. Alright. Carefully stick to the edges. <clears throat> Probably the better way to go, honestly. It wasn't until we got into the first red bit is when they were problematic, right? Okay, now, the smart money would be to put a probe in there first to see what we can see, right? Ooh, there are two just waiting there for me. Three of them, actually. <laughs> Alright, let's try a different entrance. probably makes any difference, but... Jeez, they are right there, too, huh? Okay. How about up here? Oh. I hear something that scares me. Uh... Nope! <laughs> nope, 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 nope! <laughs> oh. Fuck you, buddy. <laughs> uh. Okay, we will just hang out, like, just barely in here. <laughs> Gosh, how am I... Hmm. Okay, let's just very... Let's just very slowly go in here. I know there was at least two of them waiting for me, but... Okay, yeah, I see him. Oh, you little shit. Okay. Nope. Damn it. <laughs> oh, I think when we backed out, we ended up going to a different spot. Crap, that's why they're no longer here. Okay. It's hard to... I bet it's intentional, but it's hard to distinguish the, the bright spots being the other seeds versus one of the dumbass space fish. That's all right. What would space exploration be without a little danger? Just the tiniest bit of danger. All right. There. Hmm. Hmm. Seems like it's getting redirected by the dumbass fish here. Okay, yeah. That motherfucker. He's sitting right there, waiting for me. Alright. Easy does it. Very easy does it. Oh! Jeez! Well... I mean, I got knocked back the fuck out. 
I got knocked so hard, I got knocked out the planet. <laughs> Alright then, very good. Oh, my starboard thrusters are completely out. Well, that'll make repairs a bit troublesome. But, uh, gonna have to do it. <laughs> oh, well, ow! Okay, it's fine. <laughs> else beat to hell while I'm out here. Okay, doesn't look like it. Oh yeah, something else is. Oh, cockpit. Right, that big old crack in the glass. Boy, okay, um... Think they're reaching the core giant sea plays at the end of the hollow line they crashed their ship into. Uh, okay. Well, that'll be more trouble than it's worth, I think, right now. We could always go for the other, other source of that signal now. Since we got our scout through the red one there, see if that's any easier to to approach. Probably not. This is right under a damn fish. But if we go on the other side. Still probably gonna want me to go in the one of the red seeds anyways. Of course the other option is to just go back towards the skate pod three and see if we can find the vessel. That might be a bit safer. Alright. Pull that back. Oh yeah, that is literally the tail end of that fucker. Uh, hmm. That could be a problem. Well, guess what? We're gonna go for it. Ah. Uh. Oh. Uh. Where the hell are we? Oh, we just got... Bumped out of Dark Bramble again. Uh... Oh, there we go. So we got bumped out so... Wow, we got bumped out super far there. Oh, there's something else up here. What is this? You know what? Let's go to that. Whatever that is. Hopefully, we might be too far away to get to it, but... I'll, we'll see what that is. It's got a nice large orbit there. Let's see if we have enough time to get there before the sun explodes. time where the comet hits the sun. Maybe that's what we were chasing earlier. 
is that? It's moving fast, whatever it is. Oh, careful, 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 careful. Whoa! Overshot! <laughs> Sir, uh, oh, jeez, oh, jeez. oh uh, well, <sighs> oh, it's a satellite. Well, I gotta fix my electrical system. <laughs> there we go. Also, figure out what this is. Oh, without getting too close, though, because I think it zippy zapped me before. Base radio, huh? Okay. Fun. <laughs> Fun, I guess. Uh, hmm. that class is a thing here. Oh, it doesn't even have an entry. Boo! Ah, there's another one. 32,000. Oh, the map's offline. Why is the map offline? We are very, very far out of the solar system. That's probably why the map's offline. Or there's another busted thing that I didn't fix. Whatever it is. No, I'm not going back to Timber Hearth. I just want to find this other radio thing. Unless there is one crashed on Timber Hearth somewhere, which would be kind of interesting. Kind of looks like it's almost matching up to that. Not really. Well, maybe, actually. Ooh, oh, we're coming in hot. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Where is it? Oh, there's a Nomai uh, orb thing up here, too. That's interesting. Ooh, 
Ooh, okay, we're close to it. Ah, here. Oh, it's probably our radio tower. Interesting. Okay. Well, we're sort of here. More or less successfully landed. <laughs> uh, two days since the launch of the deep space satellite. Okay, I mean, this would probably help us track it down if we didn't just randomly see it flying out there, right? Here's the first batch of phones, the record show, blah, 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 blah. Printing, okay, starts to look at that. Brittle Hall, this Hall Lantern. Hollow's Lantern, Giant Steep, Quantum Moon. That's right, we gotta find where the Quantum Moon is. Every single astral body, stunning from every angle, yada, blah, 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 blah. Um, if I remember correctly, that strange doesn't even show up in either of the other photos, just this one. We have an equipment malfunction. Okay. Hmm. Comet, of course, right? Oh, <laughs> nice. Okay, interesting. What's it saying about? Uh, this strange doesn't show up in either of the other photos. Something in one of the photos, but not the others. Uh, I guess that whole black spot in between the sun, whatever? Maybe? Hard to tell. Oh, I think the sun's gonna do an explode very soon here. Yeah, so there's Gabro. Feldspar. Rebeck. All oh, right, we had the little guitar thing going on. Um, what's the one mark unknown there that we kind of had a beat on for a half second? There, the drums. I don't know if we'll have enough time to get there. Is there actually a marked path to get up here? There probably was. Somebody was up here at some point. Oh, yeah, speaking of. Yeah, this I'm just still not ready to print over the radio towers. Say a watch satellite never trains the data, ha ha ha. Uh, there's a study of mechanics of how time manages to slow to the speed of call whenever we're anticipating something. Turn to Gabro, as an expert in leisure, <laughs> leisurely whiling away the hours. Recommends the following. Nice cozy campfire, get comfortable, gaze deeply in the serene warmth, let time begin to slip away. Ah, yeah, okay. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, interesting. Identified signal, really? From what? We identified the signal, though, didn't we? I mean, we sort of did. I Oh, I guess we never really did. There we go. Never mind. I thought we had gotten close enough to do that, but it never never ticked over, so... Alright, now we're good. Um... Ba -doo -ba -doo -ba -doo. Wasn't the one I was interested in. Not Feldspar either. What was the uh, Gabro? Where's the the drum and bass one here? Esker. Esker was the, the whistling dude on the moon. Gabro, not Feldspar. Where's the other one? Here. Not Rebeck. Not Esker. Shit, should have gone right away once I saw it. Ah, Alright, fine, let's just go fly around. Not that we'll 
having a lot of time. That sun is looking awful big and explodey. kilometers away and our map is still busted so whatever <laughs> we just have to try our best to get over there um, either way I think we're probably headed into the Sun well, maybe not be on Embert's win. Did we not really get... Oh, oh yeah, we're headed into the sun. Sort of. <laughs> not quite. Oh. Oh, boy. Well, it's about to do an explode anyways, but... Unless we're safe on... Ember twin here. We are not. <laughs> uh. Okay. Well. <laughs> we know there is uh, a, a spaceman. Good old spaceman on Ember twin there. So we can go back there. I wanted to go back there again anyways, because I think there was a, a couple things, at least, that I wanted to grab. I think there's at least something. One thing in the caverns, right? And the sooner we get there, the less sand filled it'll be. Scant 10 kilometers away. It's a very tiny solar system. Oh, looks like uh, Ash Twin might get in the way. Excuse me. <laughs> oh, we're going to overshoot it a little bit. Not too much, though. collection tower things. Ooh, careful. There, it's dead fucking center. Did we ever see that? I don't think we ever saw the ship that was on here either. Ooh, boop, 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 boop. Okay, no, let's not land in the campsite. Let's put it down right there, nice and easy. There we go. Chert. Uh, first launch went well. Yeah, sure. First try, as it were. What are you up to? And they have to start charts out here observing. This is one of the best places in the spot astronomical events. I mean, it's a little close to the sun, but you know. Uh, I've just seen a couple supernova today. Really? A couple supernova, you say? Maybe Chert's the other one. Uh, I found something. Found your notes about Adelrock's main crater. Uh, did we did? I guess we did. Uh, Mr. May have been frozen solid, it was partially made of ice, like a bunch of colored giant sea, it's hard to say. It used to be a 
fifth planet in our solar system. No such planet now, and its place is Dark Bramble, which how to put this grew into grew into the space the fifth planet used to occupy. Quite literally appeared at the center of the fifth planet and began destroying it from the inside out. Oh, I see. That explains the little bits of planet crust. Uh, the shards collided with the celestial bodies. Just add a rock, which I believe is how the biggest crater. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Um, I have a question for you. Um, how do I know if I've spotted a supernova besides getting vaporized out of existence? Extra bright stars. If you zoom in with your signal scope, you can tell they're actually enormous explosions. As the stars go supernova at the very end of their lifespans, this is why it's so unusual to see two in a single day. Some of these stars are older than we realized. Yeah, like ours. Um, what are you doing out here? Besides documenting stars, I guess. Updating star charts, blah blah blah. I don't tell the others says since I think I'm the only traveler out here interested in doing any science at all. Um, yeah, that's fair. Uh, where should I explore? Now, unless this lake bed, I don't mean to brag, I'm really quite good with my little scouts. I've been taking pictures of everything from right here. In the old shipwreck site in Ember Twin, Southern Hemisphere, the one shooting a bright beam of light? Uh, probably. That's one of the escape pod things, right? No, my ruins. Not a single settlement. Uh huh. Not on the surface. Uh huh. Yeah, I've been down in the caves. How dangerous is that big column of fallen sand? One to dead had given us. <laughs> one to dead. Give it a seven or eight. Awfully pretty, though. Yeah, I guess. Ash twin to ember twin, but did you know the process eventually reverses? Really? I don't think we've seen it reverse. I think the sun explodes before it reverses. If you'd like to see something interesting, check out the other twin once a little more of its sand drains off. I promise you won't be disappointed. Um, just saying hi. Watch out for falling sand. Okay. Good, good to know. Right, just make sure we capture that. There we go. Okay, so... There's church ship. There's, uh, Ash Twin. Let's see if we can get to a more advantageous position to explore these caves. Whoa, jeez. Okay, yeah, like right over here. Maybe we can just fly right in. Whoop! <laughs> oh, we too wide to get in there? Yeah, probably. Okay, that's fine. Right here is perfect. Three point line. <laughs> okay, we definitely haven't been in this entrance before, so I'm curious where this is going to lead. Maybe it's just the top of the big cavern we saw before. Ooh, maybe not. No, it's a different, a different one. Quantum fluctuations, huh? Well, that's interesting. Okay. Hey, if I find anything, I'm tell you, vanished without a trace during a research trip. Uh, where was he lost? Uh, disappeared in the cave at the bottom of the dry lake bed at the North Pole. North Pole, North Pole. Happened in an instant without warning. There was no way to a sample, and when I turned back, he simply wasn't there anymore. I uh, learned by examining the northern lake bed cave. Search quickly, everyone, with no time. Okay. So us from the Sunless City are here to help for something. Can you tell us more? Uh, blah, blah, blah. And we're studying a cave's geology. We have to learn about a unique and wander wandering rock that visits several different caves in the area. Oh, right. The, the One of the things what which disappears if you're not looking at it, right? Right? <laughs> right? <laughs> okay. Wild. Can we, uh... Maybe chunk into it? No? I think that maybe there was a path we could walk through or something. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, so we we know there there's quantum rocks afoot here. 
Um, is this how we got in here? No, we, we came in through a higher bit. Oh, looks like the sand column just passed. Okay. Good timing on our part, no doubt. Uh, yeah, okay. And this was the first one, right? Yeah, this is the first one we found, Escape Pod 2. Um, so this area is probably no good. Um, so we're the, the lake bed at the North Pole, right? That was the deal. Which we're honestly pretty close to. Oh, we landed pretty close to it. Oh, wait. Lake bed at the North Pole. Isn't that where, um, shirt is here? Excuse me. Okay. So we'll make our way carefully down. Cave entrance. Oh, got some lights and shit. That's good. That's a good sign. Here, what was the is this uh what is that? Can we see whatever that was is? Oh. Oh, okay, that's the sand doing its sand thing. Oh, okay, this is church ship. Another one 14 kilometers away there. Okay, now let's focus on the one that we might be able to get to here. Okay, there's a cave entrance over here. I don't think this is the one we saw before, at least I hope it isn't. They might be. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, that's that's a bunch of cacti. Ouch. Don't, don't fall down there. <laughs> okay. Wait for the next light. Okay. It's kind of like over there ish.
pretty much just made a big giant ass circle here. Uh. we missed our chance because the sand filled in or something. It's definitely possible. Considering low gravity. Whee! Bonk. I guess every campsite has a fuel refill thing too, right? So, probably didn't need to come all the way back here, but eh, what are you gonna do? here somewhere, which would also make sense. Alright, now it's pretty much immediately below me. Such drop down though. Mm -hmm. Is it draining back the other way now? Or is it far enough along that it did its thing? Nope, it's still rising here. Okay, well, let's just walk the trench here and see what we can see. Oh, looks like the bridge got all covered over. That's interesting. practically filled in. Hmm. Maybe there's an entrance that I can no longer get to. Aside from this one, which is clearly the one I went in already. Probably. I'm not going to be able to go any further into anyways, on account of, uh... Oh! Well, I think I'm toast. Yep! <laughs> Oops. That's kind of a nasty way to go.
All right, maybe if we get to Ember Twin a bit sooner, and now that we've got the the signal lock on for the quantum stuff, it should help us out a bit. Was up what near the North Pole, right? It's pretty like uh, pretty hollow before the sand starts really doing a number. Here. Quite a few quantum objects going on. down here before it fills in too far. Whoa! Like right here. <laughs> Excellent. Okay. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Okay. through there. backed out, didn't I? Yep. Okay. Well, I think I might be SOL here. Yep. <laughs> Fuck. Really gotta be fast to get through there. I had the right idea. Just too hesitant on the execution bit. But alright, we've got some other quantum bits we can hunt down now. Um, was there anything else? Can I get, get to that from here? Oh no, I have to be on my ship to consult the rumors and see where else we got on Ember Twin here that we can go to. I thought there was another... 
I thought there was another uh, cavern. Or maybe that was on Ash Twin. I had yet to explore. fills in anything. Yeah, there we go. Radio Tower, Chert, Quantum Caves, Lake Bed Cave. Yeah, okay. Uh, and then what was this one? More to explore here. Yeah, clearly. Uh, Strange Rock, which I'm not watching. I'm going to signal on the Quantum Fluctuations. Bottom of the Dry Lake Bed at Ember Twins North Pole. Yeah, okay. I'll have to hit that in a future run. Go back to Brittle Hollow. Uh, oh, here's the other bit for um, here, find in map mode. Uh, mark location. There we go. That's what I was looking for. I want to go back to the Sunless City. Uh, that's kind of on the opposite side of the planet. Okay. Oh, what's that? A disc embedded into the side of the bit here. Hmm. Weird. Star tracking rotating bit. Did I already see what there was to see up here? I remember. Ah, uh, yeah, it's about the quantum moon. Uh, now that we have the quantum signal, though, I am curious. over there. Okay, it's this one that's getting tracked, I think. Yeah, let me actually look at that. Uh, zoom in. Oh no, that's... Actually, I don't know what that is. That's not... Is that Brittle Hollow? Oh, that's Brittle Hollow. Must be a thing in Brittle Hollow. Okay, um... I would like to track... Oh, wait, where's the controls for this bit again? Does it matter? Oh, wait, there's another... I think that might be it. That's the quantum moon there. Uh... Uh... <laughs> Which way am I facing and can I see it? I cannot see it. Oh, no, it disappeared, because I looked away. <laughs> Damn it. That's Giant's Deep. That's the... Here's this. Yeah, there. Fucking quantum-ass moon? Alright. Uh, there it is. Okay, so I need to keep, like, my eyes on it from here. Okay, right there, uh, blip, I think I still see it, I think I've got it in there, got it in sight, I'm gonna land on that quantum ass moon.
take a bit to get there. That probably torpedoes the rest of the run, honestly, but that's fine. What else are we going to do but explore? <laughs> something of value on here I suppose just landing on it would be a thing there oh we've we've identified it oh and it disappeared <laughs> I guess that just kind of kind of does it. <laughs> That's funny. I guess we sort of lost sight of it when we went into it. So it, uh, it moved. That's fun. I like that. Okay, let's go back to the Sunless City. <laughs> uh, um, let's go back. <laughs> Well, we've got the signal of it now. It's fine. We can go back. Oh, we're gonna... Okay, we're not heading into the sun, at least. Um, but we know where it is. Mostly. I if we fucked around too long and now the Sunless City is probably inaccessible. Easiest way to access it now, though. <laughs> I don't remember how I got there the first time. Um, okay. Maybe we come back, because now Ash Twin's looking pretty. Pretty drained. Looks like there's a thing in that triangle thing now, too, so I'd like to check that out now that we have an ability to, to do so. Set it down right here. Perfect. Um, let's see if it added a, a thing for the quantum moon. It didn't. <laughs> it fucking didn't. Okay, whatever. <laughs> Alright, where was I gonna go? The, the weird triangle thing. I think it was over here. Yeah, here. Deep purple. Uh, oh, this might be another warp point type thing, too. Oh, what the? Oh, okay. Ah, uh, here. Okay. First delivery here. On warp core, fresh from Black Hole Forge. Black Hole Forge. Installing this core sibling on Brittle Hollow. They write this, okay. Ash Twin project is underway. I'm deeply curious about what you move on the White Hole station and start this project. Is it? Okay. Get to White Hole, you just kind of fall into the black hole, right? <clears throat> okay. Alright. I have to explain our findings. Stop using the scroll. <laughs> White Hole station. Yeah, I got it. Right, we know where that is. Here, wait here for you to arrive at the forge. Is calling on return more materials. Blah blah blah. blah. Okay, Got a little bit from that. Oh, and the sand level is decreasing, right? So we might see. Oh well, uh, might be seeing something else on this side, or is that just the ceiling of this area? Okay, never mind. Uh, well, <laughs> okay, there we go. Okay, oh. Well, that was new. So that's good. Um. Oh, jeez. I'm curious about these towers. I guess last time we were here at these towers, it was still pretty buried. 
Now I'm curious what else we can see up here. If anything. Oh. A little travel bit here. Uh, okay, we're just gonna... Slam me up to the top of the tower. Alright, that's... Cool, I guess. Hmm. Alright. A little bit less uh, exciting than I was hoping. Ouch! Good thing I've got two legs. <laughs> uh. Hmm. Expecting something at these towers, but maybe there's nothing. Till it like drains all the way or something, right? The one on Ember Twin is unassailable if we're too late, right? Although I guess not, because they're on the surface and the, the sand fills in the, the little equatorial crevice first. Curious what else this might reveal if we stick around on Ash Twin. Oh, is that a thing there? Or was that the thing we were just in? I think that might have been the thing we were just in. Yeah. It's got the lit up path and everything. Oh, there was a, a second part to the path, though. Okay, that's the one I was in. This, this one with the bit in the center, I don't think I was in. Uh. Oh, yeah, we definitely did not see the corpses. So this is different. Mm. Okay, I mean, there's a top bit. Place with the corpses, and was there? I feel like there's another part of this that I missed. Must have been a bottom floor or something, right? Yeah, here we go. Oh, that just takes me back up there. Uh, okay, but uh, there's nothing here. Ooh. Okay, is there like another another layer down here? Oh, uh, sand. Get out of the way. I guess it would stand to reason that it would shrink more and more quickly. Uh, the more it's already shrunk, right? That's how volume works. Uh, actually, yeah, let's back the ship real quick. Thought I had not landed on the sandy bit. Maybe not. Towers. Oh, there's a, another little thing in the bottom here. Oh, it just leads up. Just leads up. Whoop, whoop. Okay, now we've been here. Damn. Oh, okie dokie. Hmm. Well, that might be the extent of this particular area. Well, now that the tower, other towers are completely uncovered, it looks like. Maybe there's something. Ugh. 
It's kind of the base of the platform here. Here's the base of the pillar here. Oh, it's still kind of sinking very, very, very slowly. Uh, where's that? Where's that comment? <laughs> how much? How much time do we have before this thing doesn't explode? Probably not too much time. Oh, well, like a good three or four minutes, it looks like. Curious if there's anything further down below. Oh yeah, like right here, perhaps. All right, let's let's have a let's have a chill while this does its thing. Hello, Squeemeister. How you doing? Um. I don't want to step into that, because it's just going to take me up to the areas I've already been, but I wonder if that's all it's good for anyways. Is there something different about the other towers? Here. Eh? Eh? Oh no, same deal. Oh, uh, well, we go. Uh, yeah, I must have gone to one, two. Oh, yeah, looks like it tapered off entirely. Okay, so there's enough time for it to to do its entire thing. Oh, uh, yeah. land safely without breaking a leg. Thank you. All right, it's all the way down to the solid core. It looks like. Whoa, geez. Does I wonder if the gravity reduces them? Oh yeah, well, we're down to half gravity now. That's that's a good detail. As the mass of the planet shrinks, you get less gravity on it. That's fun. Okay. Uh, talk. All right. We should probably yeah. Let's go see if we can track down Chert real quick. Uh, North Pole, I think. Uh, where's the North Pole <laughs> on this like half fucking planet now? Uh. Or no, I'm an Ash Twin. I need to be on Ember Twin. That's right. Uh, where's Ember Twin? <laughs> there it is. There. Okay, we got a bead. Whoop. Okay. We'll set down right here. Perfect landing. Alright, hurry. Hurry before we do an explode. Oh, is it not here? Shit. North Pole. Shit, I'm on the South Pole. Ah. Uh, hurry. Oh, I'm out in the... I'm out in space again now. Oh, hurry. Where? Where? There. Ah. Uh, hurry. <laughs> Hoof it. Hurry. <laughs> oh, no. Hurry. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, how's your... Oh! <laughs> We're like two seconds too late. God damn it. Whoops. If I hadn't landed at maybe the fucking polar opposite section of the planet. <laughs> ah, well. Okay. Well, Ash Twin is pretty much uh, done and dusted, I think. It's the caves of Ember Twin now I want to go back to. Time for one more run here, and then we'll wrap it up for tonight and resume next time. Well, let's see. Let's see if it filled in anything on the old ship computer. I mean, aside from the one we already filled in, right? Oh, there we go. Ash Twin Towers. Oh, good. 
It's telling me, hey, dipshit, there's more to explore. <laughs> uh, blah, 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 White Hole Station, yada, yada, yada. Yeah, we know about that. Oh, well, that's right. We learned about the Black Hole Forge. Uh, Hanging City, which is Brittle, uh, Brittle Hollow, right? Yeah, Northern Glacier. Okay. That's our connecting fiber here. He gets terrified because he realizes the sun is about to go. Well, yeah, I mean, that would be kind of a... That would be kind of a rough thing to witness, I would think, in person, right? Um, where was the Sunless City? That's in, uh... Uh, Ember Twin, right? Yeah, let's go back there. That'd be kind of a rough thing to witness. Although, I guess if you knew you were totally gonna get fucking vaporized, like... What are you gonna do with the last... You know, couple minutes. <laughs> couple minutes at best. What are you gonna do? Um, alright, I wanna go back to Ember Twin now. There. Are we gonna be just in time to intercept Ash Twin here? No, okay. Barely skate by. Okay, um, I think my waypoint is still marked for Sunless City. I hope it is, anyways. Uh, yeah, hey, we'll start at the... We'll land at the warp point. That seems like a pretty good idea. Perfect. Um, let's double check that I've got that uh, waypoint set. Fucking the Sun City. Uh, old settlement, escape pod, vessel, blah 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 blah. Where the fuck is the Sun City one? Am I stupid? I just saw it. Hanging City? No. Black Hole Forge? No. Ash Twin Towers? No. White Hole Station? No. Uh, blah, blah, there it is. Oh, it de unchecked my HUD marker for some reason. Okay. All right. Uh, there. That direction. It's one of the warp destinations there, which is pretty neat. Okay. Now we should have plenty of time. Uh, well find the entrance. That's right, because I think it was near the near the escape pod distressed little beacon thing. Thought it was anyway. They're like, hey, we should find some caves and hold off for a while. I'm like, yeah, it's a good idea. also a thing like, hey, in order to get in here, you have to take the, the long way down, or whatever. It's like, yeah, that's great, I need to get my steps anyway. down to the trench. Uh, you know what? That's fine, actually. I think. I hope. Ooh, coming in hot. Ooh! Okay. Uh, uh, How is it that I accidentally got into the Sunless City the first time? And 
now. I'm having a struggle trying to get back there. Does it say... oh, right, I can't, uh, consult the computer outside the ship. That stinks. Well, I should probably refill my fuel anyways. <laughs> Whee! Oh, that was a fun little jaunt. <laughs> Alright, uh... Shirt. What's about? I have a number of supernova here. Can we. Oh, I can't mark the location of like. Oh, here. Uh. Yeah, old settlement. We'll go to old settlement. Try to go to old settlement. Oh! Whoa, no, that's 14 kilometers away. I am not fit for a marathon right now. Uh, that is the wrong spot. Must be by one of the other escape pods. Oh yeah, it's by escape pod one. <laughs> nope. Wrong spot. There we go. Alright, let's try to find the Sun City again. Wish I could just do a little Warparino down there. Wouldn't that be nice? I don't remember what the deal was, how to trigger these things. I think it's just a an alignment bit, right? Possibly not from here. Ugh. Okay, here. Find some stairs. Follow the path. Yeah, there we go. Let's follow the path down. There. Now we're talking. Okay, yeah. We found it. Found an entrance. Oh, wait. Ghost shit. Uh, how do we not die from this again? Um... Here. Oh. Whoa, that thing's dead. <laughs> Alright. Uh, thing. Camera. Uh, retrieve scout. Camera. There we go. Okay, so not in there. Right, because then we followed this around. And there was another entrance. Or more stairs or something. Yeah, here we go. This is looking more familiar now. Oh, uh, um, do we care about any of this? Um,. Right, because so we wanted to follow this somewhere. Oh, right, because we probably went in the the escape pod Dillabop. Then we blew out the door and then we're like, oh yeah, yeah, this, this stuff is good. Alright, nothing but interest at the end of that passage. Do not follow this. Oh, right, this was the, uh, the other anglerfish um, thing, I think. Which, uh, this is actually good, because I want to donk a light in there so we can get down there eventually. Alright, Norris Cavern. Okay, yeah, shelter. Here's where we need to be. Should have enough time before the sand fills in this crevasse that we'll be alright. Do an explore. Ow! Oh, oh fuck! Cacti? Uh, ah, alright. <laughs> Not this path. Right. <laughs> Memory serves. Memory serves.
Walk forward until you meet the sand fall and then turn left. Let's continue the room for the climb upward, right? Yeah, okay. Turn left. And then with the rock column, go up. That was the deal. That was the deal. Yeah, here we are. Oh, well. Fall back down, dummy. Alright, across this bit. Behind the sand, right? Don't touch cactus. Uh, fall down, hold gently. Oh, wait. Uh, wait. <laughs> That's not right. Ah, don't touch cactus, but also go through this way. There we go. Okay, we made it. Now, how much of this do we need to grab? Sun Station, Ash Twin. They were arguing about power sources. Blah, blah, blah. Annihilation, Sun Station. Yeah, okay, we know. We read that already. Um, high Energy Lab. Eye Shrine. Stepping Stone. Anglerfish Overlook. Actually, I do want to see if we can go to the Anglerfish Overlook thingamading here. Um, we left our scout over here. Oh. Look inside the cave, blah blah blah. Yeah, okay, we read that already. But we need to get in there somehow. Uh. Uh, okay, we need to find a way around. either up above or down below. Uh, I'm gonna roll the dice on up above. Be probably this one. Yeah, all the way over there. Is this the gravity cannon? Oh, maybe we... Have we seen the gravity cannon already? Uh... I feel like we jumped around this stuff before. Um, I don't want to. No, I don't want to retrieve the. Ah, oh, crap! It's gonna make me probably. All right, that's fine. It's fine. We'll just try to remember where the ghost matter shit was, so we don't run into it. Easy. Okay. pops out over here. That's cool. Uh, the gravity cannon itself. Okay. Uh, this might actually not have been a place to be. Oh. Looks like there's another entrance over here, though. Or that could be just the climb back up. Ah. More stuff to learn, at least. Shuttle is currently resting at the comet. Hmm. Okay. Call the shuttle home. Activate the gravity cannon. Okay. Uh, oh, call the shuttle home. Sorry. This way. <laughs> ah. Aha. Uh -huh. Hmm. I see. That's interesting. Okay. Oh, oh, I see. It's all blocked in, so we couldn't get in here from the opposite way anyways. All right. Does it give me, like, a countdown or something that I have to... Oh, no, that goes all the way. All right. Well, bring it back. 
maybe I can eyeball it from the shuttle itself. Oh, that's cool. Here, our situation may be dire. Uh, we landed on this comet not long after its arrival, and our shuttle's equipment heard strange energy readings coming from somewhere beneath the surface. I'm able to locate a fissure in the ice on the comet's sunward side. Send it inside to investigate the source of the readings. They've been gone for a long time. Uh oh. I leave the shuttle to look for them. I want to follow protocol, but I don't know what I'll do if they aren't well. Oof. That's kind of rough. But, uh. Seems like something we'll have to do, probably. Uh. Oh no. What was that? What did we just activate there? Oh. Okay, off we go. Where the fuck are we going? Uh. <laughs> um. Away we go, I guess. Hmm. Uh oh. Where the hell are we? Uh. Oh. Oh, <laughs> Um, excuse me, what happened? <laughs> Hmm. Maybe we shouldn't fiddle with controls we don't understand. <laughs> Ouch. Hmm, very interesting though. They appear to have a way to get to the comet. Which, uh, might be the key to not dying every 20 or 15 minutes or whatever it happens to be. Oof. Slate, you got anything to say about this? Nope. Okay. <laughs> Alright, well that's a, that's a pretty good spot to, to call it for this evening then, I think. We've got more information, a better handle on various zero-g controls and, and such, so... Next time. Next time will be better. Mm. But that'll do it for tonight. Next stream will be Wednesday night. 7 p.m. CDT, back here with Outer Wilds. Uh, Thursday, 7 p.m., or excuse me, 7.30 p.m. CDT, will be Schmuck Book Club. So more of R-Type Leo, or Super Hydra, or, uh, Radiant Silver Gun. Friday, Saturday, we're off, and then Sunday, 7 p.m. CDT, will be Long Play. So more Noida, we might, uh, try the first person mod, uh, for Noida, uh, come Sunday. That should be awful fun and maybe just purely awful who knows who knows who knows um but that'll do it for tonight thanks for watching everybody see you on wednesday bye bye